so hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel the real fact so i'm you new on this youtube platform right so i request you to please support me and like and subscribe my channel thank you so let us begin so we are over here to include font awesome in an angular application right so what i have done over here is i have set a basic angular application which we set if you don't know how to set a basic angular application then watch the description below i've included the commands in it and you'll be able to do that so i've done that already so first of all what we need to do over here is we need to just go to app.modules and over here what we need to do is since we are including font awesome so first of all we need to in, uh, install that uh, in our terminal right so using our terminal we will use angular cli to install uh, font awesome first of all so the command for that is n p m i n s t a l l at the rate it's f o r t right it's always fort a w e s o n e it's not font awesome first of all it is fort awesome and then slash and then for angular we are doing that right so a n g u l a r and this time it will be f o n t a w e s o n e so we need to include the necessary libraries for font awesome so we just hit enter cli is going to install that uh, so we have uh, completed the first commands for cli command for installing the font awesome library now the second command will be to install the library for icons right so what we need to do is we just need to write np and instead at the rate f4 and it will be four right four a double e s o n e four awesome and we need to write uh, uh we essentially are using free icons right so we need to write F R E E S O L I D and hyphen S V G and hyphen. Since we're using icon, so I C O S. So this is the necessary command which we need to run. It's a second command and hit enter. Uh, you can also see these commands in Google. So let me show you in the when you go to the font awesome website to show you in this map and in the doc section we will be able to see the necessary commands which we need to install for that right so in the extreme right section you will be able to see extreme bottom we are using font awesome with angular and other front end applications so we want angular right so click on angular Now this will open this one and oh yeah it will provide a link for angular font awesome and now click by click on this link it will traverse us to github and here it is here you will get all the basic necessary details for the font awesome and all the necessary commands which you want to use so since we are using npm over here we are using the icons will be in the second command for installing the libraries for font awesome right so for reference you can use this so let us get back to our application so we have installed the second cli command as well now what we need to do over here is we need to import the font awesome module right so we need to just write i m p u r t import Right. And here from what where we are importing this is uh, at the uh, we need to write this in single quotes so not double single and 
we are importing this from found awesome right so what we need to do is yeah here it is we need to write this font awesome angular font awesome right so this is the package which we are importing and over here we need to write fo and font awesome module yeah that's it so this was the first step second step is to just copy this font awesome module and we need to write this in the imports array since we are importing this from outside the angular applications right so we need to mention that to know that so that the angular applications knows from where it is so that's it error is gone now save this all right so our next step will be to go in the components.ts file and over here we need to just import the icon which we are using so let us see which icon we want to use uh, by clicking on this icon over here Beyond icons, all right. So we got basic icons. Now, what I saw over here is the free icon is well, there is still fill. And let me search it over here. All right, we got it. We film over here. So let us open this. So this is the path for HTML, but this path is used for uh, CDN when we use CDN for our font awesome, but right now we are not using CDN way. So to watch to use this, we need to we, there is a specific format for this. So for that, we need to again go to the GitHub link and over here. In the end, you will be able to see the syntax for using this icon, right? So this is the syntax for icon, and we just need to write the icon name with prefix F8. So let me copy this. Uh, we need to write this in HTML. So first of all, we will mention this in HTML, right? Since we are using film, so it will be film. All right. So here it is. So we have used uh, mentioned this in the HTML file, but what about the component.ts file? So in the component.ts file, we need to mention the film icon. So we need to what we need to do is first we need to import it. That is the necessary step. So I am import. This from writing this in single quotes, and we need to import this from at the rate font awesome. But oh, wait, we, we we are using an icon over here, right? So what we need to do over here is we are going to use F A F I L, and we are using it from font awesome. So F O R T we are going to use font awesome, and we are using icons, right? So we will select the icons library over here. That's it. Now we have used film over here. The second step is to just write, mention that in export class since we need to export that in HTML. So we need to write this in HTML, uh, export the class as well. So that will be a I'm mentioning this again. That's it. You can write anything over here. I think this is the variable. But let us be straight over here. So we have mentioned the icon name over here. And in the front end also, we have this is the syntax. So all the necessary things are done. And now let us run it by using the command npm start. Let's see. All right, so uh, program has compiled successfully without any errors, God's sake. Now it has thrown us a link, so 
let us go to this link by pressing control and right click it directly opens all right so alas here it is here it is an icon so you can use this icon anywhere what you want we just need to write this syntax over here wherever possible so that's it thanks for watching this bye bye